What's up guys? Welcome back to the Beard Chronicles of Mac and Julie. Sorry we haven't been here for a while. We've been kind of busy. Uh, we just had our wedding, as you can see, um, about, what, uh, two weeks ago. We just had our wedding and, you know, we did a little honeymoon thing and uh, nothing too big, you know what I mean? You're not fucking rich or nothing, so. Um, but yeah, you know, I took some time off and everything and, uh, yeah, we had a good time with the whole family. My family came and yeah, it was a really good wedding. Uh, shout out to everybody who came. Shout out to everybody who uh, helped for that, by the way. But um, but yeah, let's get back into it. Now we're back to business. And um, today we got the uh, Boomtown Brewery. Some fresh cans. I believe they came out with this on Saturday. So it was a week ago. And, um, I, I don't even know the name of it. Oh, like the fox I run with? Or, I don't know the name of it, sorry. But, <laughs> <laughs> I'll find out, I'll, I'll put it in, I'll put it in the um, description. But it's a double New England style IPA. Um, what percentage is it? Doesn't say. Oh, 8.2. 8.2 alcohol. And, uh, yeah. Got my Boomtown glass with it, so I got proper, proper uh, glassware for this one. And, yeah, let's see. I haven't, I haven't been to Boomtown. I haven't had any Boomtown beer in a while. So, let's see what this one's like. Pretty sure this is like hazy or something. Yeah, it's just pretty hazy. Well, not super hazy, but it's got like that thickness to it. Not like super yellow, like, like, cause me, like to me, a really like a hazy beer. I guess you could say this is more like a New England style, cause yeah, it's not that yellow. But a hazy beer to me is like, like fucking serious orange juice, like yellow, like fucking yellowish, goldish, like you know what I mean. Like that to me is a hazy beer, but I'm not for sure what the recipe is and stuff. But I keep seeing breweries say that it's a hazy beer and it's like looks like an IPA and tastes like just like a regular IPA and like and I, got, I know what you guys know what is a hazy is like a hazy is like straight juice orange juice looking tasting like orange juice and everything like you get that just that sweetness in it and um yeah but um this one's looking still looks good pretty sure it's still a good beer getting like them piney notes and stuff um kind of multi too yeah here we go cheers guys yeah it's um straight up pretty like bitter top straight when you drink it and then has more of um like a smooth I taste some of the juice. It's a, it's a bit juicy though. It is juicy. It is pretty juicy though. I mean I guess I guess it'll pass for a hazy. I guess it'll pass. I'll give it just a pass. I'll give it a pass for a hazy. Cause I mean even on the can it says it's a New England style but then it says hazier than what you had what you did last night. Uh huh. Mm. <laughs> Huh, for real. Well, I wasn't drunk yesterday, but <laughs> but the thing is too is like what I noticed is that when you when they post like these cans, like the picture, like that shit looks hazy as fuck. You know what I mean? But like when you get the can, like this is not the first time I got the can and been like, like this shit not really hazy, like you know, <laughs> you know. But 
I've seen other people post the same beer and theirs are That's hazy. Really or theirs or some other people are like um like kinda of the same like mine, so maybe it's just like certain batch or something. I don't know. But yeah, all around a good beer still. Um eight point two, like that's that's pretty good too. And Boomtown, fucking staying up there, putting it down for LA. Crazy ass can work, can art, all kind of different stuff on here. I'm guessing this is like all the stuff that you can do in LA or something. That's what it looks like. It's like all kind of graffiti and all kind of stuff like that. And have like the star and the Hollywood star and stuff. good but besides this i wanted to take this time to show you guys what i've been up to and what, what we've been up to um we actually started a uh, home brewing um obviously i can't um open a fermenter right now because that's i don't have a big equipment for it to just to open it and show you guys but um we will be bottling it in about um, a couple more days and then after that we're gonna make this beer right here. It's a coffee porter. Um, I think it's gonna be like five or six percent. Oh, well, five point one to five point six. And yeah, basically this is um the whole recipe kit right here. Um, let me open it up for you guys. And I've heard that this brand is like one of the best uh, brands, Brewers Best. So, so yeah, starting off with the with the grains, the malts, right here, chocolate and caramel for this one. That's gonna be nice. We got a spice pack, some ground coffee. And as you know, you still have to have some hops to make a beer, so one ounce. So I'm learning now that, you know, when you beer, uh, brew an IPA, excuse me, um, when you brew an IPA, um, you pretty much put like a bunch of hops, like a lot more hops. And just for regular beers, I guess it's just like an ounce or however much you're making. But this is actually for a five gallon batch um, that I'm working with right now. I plan on getting another fermenter at least soon, another carboy and everything. And uh, yeah, we got the um, another malt. What is that? Carapils? Car crushed carapils? Um, bottles for bottles. I mean, bottle Bottle cast for bottles. I was going to say bottles <laughs> for bottles. Um, the extract, we have, we're not really doing our own um, mashing really and stuff like that. Well, we still have to do it, but it's... Uh, this is basically like the liquid and stuff you just pour in there, like, you know, so. But I'm pretty sure you still get a good beer. Um, then we got the dry malt extract. Dry malt. I mean, eventually I plan on doing everything, like, um, you know, like milling everything and doing all this stuff, like, pretty much, like, um, from scratch, you know, but right now you know i think it's just good to learn the basics of it and everything and then just you know then you get bigger with it you know you get more jiggy with it you know? <laughs> but uh, yeah, it has the priming sugar um this is the yeast i'm actually thinking about what would happen if i went and got some liquid yeast for this and that's what i want to do too i see people like starting their yeast on brew day and stuff like that and i want to see what that's about because this is like the dry yeast and um, they say like the liquid yeast is better so and I don't know something about this packaging or something like this is just not very appealing like I feel like I want to do something better with this like I want to like get something better than this but I don't know maybe it's, just some, it's really some good shit I don't know but um, yeah we'll see um, but yeah basically probably gonna brew this in the next couple of days um, should let me comment below if you guys want me to uh, document that. Um, and yeah, that's basically what we're gonna be doing. Um, basically, want to make. Um, we have the bottles right there. 
um, for the first uh, batch for the IPA. Oh, and a little bit about that one. Um, the recipe was actually for a single hop Chinook IPA, but um, for some reason, Northern Brewer, um, they didn't give me uh, my yeast. Didn't come in the package, so I had to go get my own yeast. I sort of hit them up, but by the time I really realized that it was already brew day and shit, so I'm like, ah, I want to make this shit already, you know? So I went and got it, and then I bought another ounce of Mosaic. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to tweak this a little bit. So you put two ounces. It came with three ounces of hops. You put two, in, two ounces in it while you're brewing through the 60-minute um, boil for the hops. And then uh, you use an ounce to dry hop. So I used the two Chinook. And then I'm using the I use the mosaic to dry hop. Um, some of you guys are following me on Instagram and everything, and uh, um, already seen that. So yeah, um, but yeah, we're gonna bottle those in a couple of days too. And then the next day I'm gonna clean everything, and then I'm gonna brew this one. So yeah, so we've been up to, and yeah, I plan on trying to get. I've been working with some of my homies um, that are graphic designers. And we're looking for a logo and uh, um, um, pretty much design similar, you know, for our bottles. And um, yeah, just basically, you know, make it look a little bit more legit and everything. And it's going to be called uh, United L Works. So yeah, look out for us. <laughs> but all right, guys, on to the next one, guys. Cheers.